जय गुरु वेलकम इन योगदा सत्संग सोसाइटी आश्रम रांची गुरु जी राइट्स इन हिज ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ ए योगी ए ईयर लेटर इन 1918 थ्रू दी जेनरोसिटी ऑफ सर मनिंद चंद्र नंदी द महाराजा ऑफ काशिम बाजार आई वॉज एबल टू ट्रांसफर माई फास्ट ग्रोइंग ग्रुप ऑफ दिहिका टू रांची दिस टाउन इन बिहार अबाउट टू हंड्रेड माइल्स फ्रॉम कोलकाता इज ब्लेस्ड विथ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट हेल्थफुल क्लाइमेट्स इन इंडिया द कासिम बाजार पैलेस इन रांची बिकेम द मेन बिल्डिंग ऑफ द न्यू स्कूल विच आई कॉल्ड योगदा सत्संग ब्रह्मचर्य विद्यालय लेटर द स्कूल वॉज शिफ्टेड टू आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ रांची एट जगन्नाथपुर इन ईयर नाइनटीन एटी वन एंड द स्कूल प्रमिस वॉज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द मेन आश्रम ऑफ योगदा सत्संग सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज लीची वेदी ए सेक्रेट प्लेस एसोसिएटेड विद योगानंद जी इट वॉज अंदर द शेडी कैनोपी ऑफ दिस लार्ज लीची ट्री दैट द ग्रेट गुरु frequently held outdoor classes and sessions for the boys of the school he founded many times while doing sankirtan with the boys he would enter into samadhi and remain in that state for hours because this spot is hallowed by the spiritual vibrations of paramhans ji this tree with a large picture of paramhans ji and shrined below its bow has been a favorite place of pilgrimages and meditation for all devotees this is smriti mandir in 1920 while meditating one day paramhans ji had a vision in which he received a divine command to go to america describing this sublime experience he wrote in his book autobiography of a yogi america surely these people are americans this way my thought as a panorama of western faces passed before my inward views immersed in meditation i was sitting behind some dusty boxes in the storeroom of the rachi school the vision continued a vast multitude gazing at me intensely swept acted like across the stage of consciousness on the very spot where this storeroom once existed the smriti mandir was built in 1995 as a memorial to the worldwide mission that took its first step here this mandir is open throughout the day and is used by devotees for private meditation too Guru ji's words only love can take my place is written over this smriti mandir This is temple of Lord Shiva and veranda adjoining with fire ceremony place The veranda is used for its spiritual discourses and chanting sessions This area is surrounded by beautiful meditation gardens and orchard of mango, lychee, jackfruits and guava trees. This is the shivling inside the temple with a big picture of Lahdi Mahashay inside the temple. Guru ji writes in autobiography of a yogi in the orchard stands a Shiva temple with a statue of the blessed master lahdi mahashay daily prayers and scripture classes are held in the garden under the mango bowers this is the place of fire ceremony where on special occasions fire ceremony is held this is beautiful rose garden in one corner of the ashram 
in background newly built shivalay is seen there are many beautiful and green meditation gardens are all around lichi vedi and main heritage building this place is favorite place for all the devotees they sit in front of lichi vedi relaxing and meditating and communing with guruji and nature divine this is newly built shivale the administrative control room of this ashram it is central administrative building three storied high with basement reception offices and counseling rooms the shivalaya was inaugurated on 22nd march 2015 on the 98th anniversary of the foundation day of yogda satsang society of india this is the inside of this shivalaya having a beautiful and big photograph of guruji the room where the great guru stayed during his years at ranchi has been preserved as a shrine it is kept open to all for private meditation during certain hours each day the room is in this main heritage building devotees feel great upliftment when they meditate here in addition to the wooden cot that was used for yoganandji some of the personal belongings including a rose flower that had been placed on his body after his mahasamadhi are on display this is the side view of heritage building to a small windows and ventilation is guruji's room there is also a display of the hand and foot impression of the guruji inside his room brought from srf international headquarters this small water pool with lotus flowers and fishes is in front of guest house of this ashram there are many guest rooms with sharing bases with 2 to 4 beds with attached bathroom for living of visiting devotees the rooms are neat and clean and simple there is separate building for ladies it is surrounded by beautiful meditation gardens different kind of trees and sitting arrangements this is the cow shed goshala in one corner of ashram the dairy product is used inside the ashram for general use just in front of this cow shed there is a big grassy field this field is used during congregation for doing energization exercises as well as for putting pandal for spiritual discourses there are many green meditation garden which are spread in every part of ashram for meditation relaxing and enjoying the beauty of nature and presence of god the calm surrounding greenery and spiritual vibration will take you to deeper level of meditation and communion with god 
Vaidish Ashram was visited by many great saints like Sri Yukteswar ji, Swami Pranavanand ji, Sri Bhagwati Charan Ghosh, father of Master Paramhansa Yogananand, Sri Anand Mahima, joy permeated mother, Mata Amrita Mai Ma, and many others. This ashram is very holy and sacred as many spiritual realized souls have spent their time here in their many visits to this great ashram my friends and fellow devotees i will request all of you to take out some days from your busy life and spend some time in this real home of ours in company with our great guru paramhans yoganand this is dhyan mandir meditation hall yss sanyasis conduct morning and evening group meditations in the dhyan mandir it was built in 2007 this capacious hall made of jodhpur stone can comfortably seat more than 300 devotees at a time this is schedule of group meditation of this ashram the ranchi ashram maintains a medical department where medicines and the services of doctors are supplied without charge to the poor of the locality it has outpatient department for all main branches of medicine dispensary laboratory and operation theater for i the dining hall is big having a modern kitchen and provides vegetarian simple hindu meal prasad as breakfast lunch tea and dinner activities you can participate during your stay are group meditations yss sanyasis conduct group meditation every morning and evening the schedule for which was given earlier you are most welcome to attend these meditations healing technique each group meditation ends with a few moment of deeply praying for others world peace and harmony and send them healing energy through performance of a simple but highly effective technique taught by paramhans ji you may request prayers for yourself or your loved ones from the worldwide prayer circle there is sunday meditations sunday satsang every sunday yss sanyasis conduct a spiritual event which is open to all they share practical wisdom from yoganand ji's teaching that can be applied profitably in today's busy life the satsanga timing are in the morning 10:30 to 12 spiritual counseling if you want to know more about the kriya yoga techniques and teachings of paramhans ji or are seeking guidance to solve some spiritual problem in your life sanyasis of the society are available for counseling and to provide guidance in the study and practice of the yogda satsang teachings there is facility of organic cultivation and these vegetables are used inside the kitchen for the preparation of daily prasad and it is available for visiting devotees in case you want to stay outside there is mapalud hotel which is just across the ashram 2 minutes walk from its main gate this hotel is big having decent and comfortable rooms and there are facility of eating and room service there are shops of pizza hut and dominos in the vicinity 
where you can have your meals another hotel which is beside the gate of yogta ashram is hotel archi it is just 50 meters from the railway station gate of yss ashram the rooms are cheaper as compared to mapelwood but the standard of mapelwood is much better than archi regency but both the hotels are very close to ashram just 2 minutes walk to inside the ashram this is the room of hotel archi generally you get guest room inside the ashram but if you are willing to stay these are the facilities so remember everything else can wait but our search for god cannot wait jai guru jai mo